Danny John Jules. This is it, yeah. This is the man. This is the yeah. man. This is, and we're, we're, I'm a bit nervous because there is a, a, re, a recycling <laughs> bin fact, truck in front of very me. Very ironic. That yeah. it's actually there. And it is, right. an, and on a Friday, which is when they do collect um, the bins. Um, yeah, this is. And, oh, it's it's. It, you know what? It's, it's spooky, just, isn't it? Actually, it's too close to actually be even funny, Bob. Because this is about the, where the, the altercation happened, happened. And look, you know, and this is where I was photographed right here by this the. Is just the whole by thing the, by so the what's it called? And she sat, she, she's sitting out the window there. She was at the window. Oh, was she when we were out there? Just yeah, like, she was just at the window. Wow. I met you when we started. I started doing Red Dwarf. Yeah. And I know you've done other. You've done other stuff. I know what you've done since then. But I don't know what you did before. Oh, that. before that. Yeah. Goodness me. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I, 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 I sorry, go, do right, do oh, right. Shit, sorry. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you've left, just left <laughs> half the car at the junction. It is now half electric. I've just left a big electric motor in the road. There's a guy behind me. Yeah. 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 You know the old sort of seaside special stuff. You know right. when variety was still. Um, and so, had you trained to do that beforehand? Then had you done sort of classes at the? Well, you know, all that no. What happened? I was. I actually did gymnastics at school in lunchtime. Right. It wasn't actually part of our curriculum, but right. we had a, a, a guy that used to, Mr. Power, who used to be one of the British coaches, and me and another guy called Leslie. I can't remember Leslie. Leslie Davis, I think his name was. Um, we were we were the ones that got good enough to go to the club with Mr. Power, and right. we used to go in his little mini after school, um, twice a week. Right. To this club in Mornington Crescent. Wow. Just uh, near the Camden Palace. Because you lived in Notting Hill then. Notting Hill, yeah. yeah. I went to all kinds of um, uh, after school activity. Right. I went to the, a place called the Stowe Club. Which was oh, you could stuff. play you could play football itself so just up, yeah. up, up, up near you just yeah, around yeah. the corner. I, I know the Stoke Club. Yeah, they had boxing in there. They That's had right. Yeah. Table tennis, which was what I loved playing there. They had they, you know. Uh, and this the was usual. Like the age, sort of early teens, that kind of age. Yeah. yeah. While we were at school, there was a lot more uh, racism. Right. Uh, I mean, overtly. Yeah. Um, but was there amongst your peer group, like the kids you hung out with? No, because they? Notting Hill was always a melting pot. Yeah. I was lucky to be brought up in Notting Hill because, you know, I had white friends. Right. Even when, you know, in the times of, you, you're talking, in this, these are the days when, you know, skinheads were still running, yeah. running yeah. amok and... Um, National Front and all that stuff was going on. We had the, 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 the Notting Hill Adventure Playground. Right, which Where, that, yeah. you know, kids were walking around with pickaxes and, and hammers and six yeah. inch nails, nailing things and, you know, yeah. you never heard of uh, people sort of whacking kid each other over the head with a hammer and all yeah. that. I had all that juice yeah. and that, you know, background. When I went to be a dancer, then, you know, it's a hard game, Yeah. as you know. Yeah. It wasn't hard for me. That, this was a doddle. Right. Compared to growing up in Notting Hill. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, so whereas, you know, the lovies would be like, oh, darling, I'm exhausted. You know, I'm just absolutely shattered today. <laughs> you know, I, I'd, I'd expound that much energy in an hour at the, at the adventure playground. Yes. Yeah. What, what, what these guys would be suffering yeah. for eight hours yeah. of rehearsal. Yeah. So I was but quite. Then, how did your family. Uh, uh, React to you doing that? Then I mean, were they cool with it? When you no, because well, when I was doing it as a uh, as a hobby, yeah. it was not a problem. Went and did my first professional job, and that was when my mum was like, "Oh, well, you, yeah. what, what, what's all this about? Yeah, Are right. you mad? Yeah. You know, at least you can have a career in hairdressing." Yeah, <laughs> you so know. it wasn't a proper career. That was the worry she had. Was well, the... yeah. That, I mean, that, that you know. So what was the first job then? What was the that? first job? I was I was in the second generation in the, at the at the Sandown Pavilion, Isle of Wight, six wow. month contract. Wow. Um, Jimmy Tarbuck, <laughs> headlining. <laughs> Dicky Henderson, you know. And well, they are real names from our childhood, aren't they? Yeah. Dicky Henderson. I hadn't thought of that name. For Dicky Henderson. Years. He was the the British Frank Sinatra, wasn't he? Yeah. You know, he, he used to do he that. Was a big name. 
He used to do a, a, a sort of old Blue Eyes act. Even though it was variety in the 70s, yeah, you know, yeah, you got to imagine Kenny Lynch. Really cheesy. Uh, <laughs> no, but you can imagine, yeah, yeah. you know, the, the whole Char yeah. Charlie Williams, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm sweating chocolate. I mean, oh, God. <laughs> You know, this is what we were working around. Well, right. I do. I, I tell you what, though. Jimmy, Jimmy used to tell this joke, right? And obviously, I was used as as the butt of the joke. And you know, a lot of people. You can look back at it now and say, "Boy, you know what?" People say now, oh, "Well, I wouldn't have had that." Yeah. You know. Oh, so you at the end of the show. Budget on today's no. Terms, okay, at the end can't. of the show, this is what Jimmy's joke was. Yeah. Hey, go. Hey, oh, great weather we're having. Look at that. He's only been here two weeks. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, on my life, on my life. Wow, and that was a regular gag. Yeah, that was an every night gag, and it got a woofer. Yeah, it got a huge woofer. Oh, a huge woofer! And I, you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't have minded, but I didn't get paid an extra money. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know come, yes. come on, Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's worth twenty quid a week, surely. <laughs> surely, a bit of extra months. You know, when I, mean, I went to see a Sunday concert about a year later, and I met, he remembered me as well, and come and bought me a drink in the bar. Right. You know, and he was nice to you on no, no, stage. Oh, no, no, I mean, he was all right. I, I used to go in his dressing room and talk right. to him. Yeah. Yeah. I used to just have yeah, normal chats with him. I, yeah. And that's how I found out about his golfing and, right. you know, <laughs> the fact that he lived in the middle of a golf course and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. you know, I, and loads of those guys I used to chat to. Yeah. You know. The producer right. of, of the fir my first job gave me my second job, right. which was Panda. Right, wow. Hey, hey, you did a good job there, Dan. Yeah? yeah? I'll tell you what, I'm doing Panda, why don't you play Man Friday? Wow. And that was the gig, <laughs> Man Friday. I did with the fucking... Who was, 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 was Robinson Crusoe? Who was uh, um, Alvin Stardust. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin Stardust. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> you. I heard all the things that you do. <laughs> Oh, come on, love me. Did he sing that? Oh, baby. You were mad, No, he, no, I tell you what he sang. He sang, Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? <laughs> right, where this guy's coming out. Oh, my out. God. Oh, shit. Yeah. What we do? Yeah, no, 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 that's, okay. uh, that's my old schoolmates. Um, oh. I just wanted to go and say a quick yo to him. Oh, right. um, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, we can just. Yeah, just yeah, you don't have to go, just oh, do no, it illegal, no. illegal, in and out. Oh, shit, sorry. No, I'm not a good North London driver. Like no, you but this is good. Stuff. You don't want to, you know, yeah. this is great editing stuff. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just use those bits. Yeah, use, <laughs> use all the. No, what, what road are we on now? This, um, is, this is West End Lane. Oh, is it West End Lane? Oh, yeah, so what you want to do now is you're going to have to go down, down there yeah. and then come back round, which oh, is right. no problem. Is, no, we're now turning into a turning old into old a dodgy yard, yard, which is where. Yeah, <laughs> if you just. Mates. <laughs> oh, what, is that? Yeah. <laughs> And what, the scooter guys? Is yeah, that yeah, this is where I bought my motorbike. Right. He, but he's a, he's a Rutherford boy. And what, were you from? Yeah, from school. Ah, uh, right. Actually, let me just see where he is, right? And you might, though, don't you? Oh, look. So this will be a, where a slick edit will happen, right? I think it's worth reporting that uh, I've just been to try and find Danny. <laughs> he's gone into a cafe. That is so funny. Uh, it's so typical of Dan. Because when I went to get him this morning, so I rang him up and I said, I'm coming to pick you up. He said, brilliant. See you in a few minutes. So I said, yeah, all right. Got to his house. His wife answered the door. He got to the calf, which was about a mile away. So he'd already forgotten that I was coming to get him. Now I've got him. I thought I had him. So I had to drive him to pick this thing up, something to do with his motorbike, and he's disappeared. So there we go. That is the life, the life of someone who's trying to talk to Danny John Jules. It's not easy. You're trying to convince people that I'm still the guy that you knew, yeah. and I'm, I haven't turned into this I'm sort of lunatic. Of you know, I, 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 God, you know, we'll argue all day and night, but you know, if if I've never had to get physical with Craig, then I'll, I'll never have to get physical with anybody. <laughs> That's true. You, you know what I mean? Because actually, as well as things I've thought, I you like, know, yeah, you did that. You did. You and Craig were the only two that were in every single episode of Red Dwarf. Because I didn't do all of them. Since, since 1987. And we have never come to blows. Yeah. And, and that's so, really impressive. Yeah. So why would I 
all of a sudden be in a brawl over, over a, a piece of a piece of uh, polystyrene five inches long <laughs> and uh, you know I tell that to people and they they think you know surely because yeah. you've never I mean I just I, I'm just asking now as a mate I you know I've never seen you be even remotely violent but have you ever been in a fracas you know in a punch-up or a I mean, you just don't strike me as the sort of guy that would start... Yeah, from school, school days, well, you know. when you were a kid, yeah, yeah. I mean, we all did then. But, I mean, not as an adult then, you've ne and you've never been in trouble. You've never been in trouble with the law. I can't, I can't fight, because I've got two knees that would collapse in, you know, from the gymnastics and the yeah. dancing days. But, hey, you know, what three magistrates would believe yeah. is, is anyone's... It's extraordinary. Because um, a lot of people I've spoken to, and they've said, oh, that sounds a lot of nonsense. You know, even people who don't know you, yeah. they go, well, that's nonsense, that'll get thrown out. And they go, well, he's in front of magistrates. Ah. And that's immediately everyone's reaction. Yeah. Ah. Oh, right. Well, because I was, I'm was, i not being judged by my peers, am I? No. You know, and, and uh, I doubt if you very really, in magistrates' court, will ever be judged by your peers. Yeah. Because... Well, your brother as well. You like know, yeah. Well. My, mum, my mum worked in the courts. Yeah. And my brother worked as a barrister. Well, I mean, effectively, you came out of a background where the law wa wasn't your enemy. N well, no, the law, that's enemy. what we, we grew up with, the, with the law yeah. in the house. Yeah. You know. Because what's your brother? Is he? He's a barrister. Barrister. And so, you know, the fact is that, um, you know, I was stepping over law books, you know, looking for me tights kind yeah. of thing <laughs> when we shared a, bed a bedroom. Kind of, you know what I mean? That's that, is that ridiculous? Yeah.